Hey, what is up guys? So a lot of you wanted me to make a Goyo Quasar deck profile for you guys. So all this deck does is actually pull off bringing out the shooting Quasar Dragon a real unconventional way by actually abusing this card called Goyo Defender. If you guys don't know what the heck this thing does, what happens is once you make one of them you get the other two from your extract completely for free and then you can go into a Tatsunoko and then you're going to be good to go from there and you'll have a Quasar that can actually attack three times. Usually people get out Quasar that can attack twice. Uh, there are other versions of this deck. Now this is the fastest version that I've actually come across. Uh, Aloth was a guy that actually was helping me make this deck and uh, doing a lot of testing on it and this is the build that I think is most consistent at throwing it out as quickly as possible. Now let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. If you guys don't understand how works uh, I'll briefly explain the combo after we go ahead and go through the cards and have a little like short little discussion but anyways starting off we got three uh, copies of Cobalt Hedgehog we got one copy of Doppel three Plague Spreader three Synchron Explorer three Jet Synchron three Boost Warrior one Gloat Bulb three Jester Confits one Unknown Synchron one one for one one Reinforcement of the Army one Where Art Thou one Soul Charge three Upstart two copies of Terraforming one Foolish, one Tuning, two Hand Destruction, three Chicken uh, Game, and three Pseudo Space. So the cards over here are cards that I dropped and as well as I kind of like changed it up just a little bit from the original build because uh, one thing that I noticed was you didn't really need this. Uh, Soul Charge, yeah, you're gonna have to pay life points, but if you're making a Quasar, it doesn't really matter that you pay two to 3,000 extra life points to throw it out. I don't think it matters because this deck is an all-in deck. Uh, I want to mention that real quick because uh, yeah, this deck is not really designed to compete with the meta, but if you're able to throw out a first turn Quasar, some decks just simply lose because they just can't really deal with it. That card is still actually pretty dang strong, and if you're able to throw out a double Quasar, yes, it probably will cost you some life points, especially with the uh, chicken race, I understand that and especially if you use Where Art Thou, but I felt like it was way too good. The potential that you can just throw out double Quasar is too strong not to just have access to it. Um, but as far as Extract goes, the only thing that's really important is two copies of Shooting Quasar Dragon, one Shooting Star Dragon, and then three copies of Goya Defender, and one Tatsunoko. The rest of the cards, you can do whatever you want. They're kind of cards that I had here uh, previously from my other Synchro deck, because I took my other Synchro deck and then added in the cards from there. But the cards that I uh, dropped were Double Summon, uh, one Terraforming. Uh, at one point I was trying Dark World Dealings, I was dropping some of the other cards. Um, at one point I was doing three copies of Where Art Thou, then I had uh, three copies of Hand Sharkin. So you guys can change around the numbers if you want, but um, I'll try to get into the explanations. Oh, one thing that's important uh, that I feel like I should mention right now is when you go for Doppel, most of the time that you're bringing out Doppel, you're just special summoning it from your hand. You're not actually trying to use that effect to get the tokens to help you Synchro. The reason why you don't actually want the tokens in most scenarios, yes, in some scenarios, yeah, you can go for Librarian, you can make other things, but for the most part, when you're going for the standard play, which is going to be something along the lines of just bringing out Goyo Defender. Now, Goyo Defender says once per turn, if all monsters you control are Earth Warrior uh, Synchro uh, Monsters, minimum one, you can spell summon another one. Now, you won't have access to that if you happen to have these tokens, which happen to be uh, double tokens that are Warrior type and Dark, so that's the one thing that you gotta keep in mind. Uh, so this lets you basically just throw out three Goyo Defenders, and then from there, um, let's clear this, and this will, this will represent our field. So let's say, like, for example, we uh, have Glow Up Bulb and uh, this card uh, out on the field. So we go ahead and um, one for one, or we can uh, use uh, the... Uh, where is it? I don't know. You you can you can figure it out. I don't know. You tuning, you mill this. There's a lot of combos in this. Let's, let's just say for whatever reason you're you're able to make a level three synchro. That's the basic concept of this deck. You have a lot of cards that just special summon themselves, like boost war, special summon itself, plague spreader, special summon itself. So there's a lot of easy access to that. But you go ahead and you immediately try to synchro up into this card. This card then activates its effect is once per turn if all monsters you control are earth warrior type synchro monsters, you can just special summon one Goyo Defender. So you can go ahead and you have Goyo Defender and a special summons Goyo Defender, Go Defender, special summons going to defender. That's your field right there. Then you go ahead and you can activate uh, Plague Spurter's effect. Uh, you can activate Quibble's effect. If you're special summoning something from the graveyard, you can then trigger uh, for Doppel. And then Doppel can then be special summoned from the hand. You have hand destruction, then you get cards in the graveyard like Quibble. Quibble then can activate its effect as long as you can control a tuner like uh, Glow Up Bulb, or maybe Unknown Synchron, you special summon this first. Uh, you have one for one. Uh, you can use Jet Synchron. There's so many combos for this. Um, so if, if you're playing this deck, you're not able to bust it out. Uh, just give it a few more tries. You'll have to learn the basics of it. Uh, obviously, playing this in. Um, 
your life is going to be much more difficult because when you're playing online, it has that ability to show you, oh, you can sponsor some of this card. You know, it has a little uh, indication. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Uh, just get some practice and you will be, it, it's really, really consistent. You should be able to dump it out uh, most of the time, first turn. Like I would say, if you're playing this on average, most of the, like, over 50% of the time, you will have a first turn one Quasar. To pull off two, you pretty much need Soul Charge. There's not really any way that you're going to be pulling off. You could drop Soul Charge a heck if you wanted to. But um, the really important card that lets you pull off the combo much more consistently is Glow Bulb. That's why I put the one copy of War Arf Thou. Um, at one point, I was thinking about putting in Fact Valor, uh, just because it's a searchable card. If you have Valor and a Quasar, you win the game pretty much. But um, it was just too good of a card not to have it. Like I said, you guys can drop the card completely if you want to. It is 2,000 points of damage, but it makes this one card makes a huge difference. I didn't want to put in three of them because you really only need one of them at, to really go off. Yeah, I know he can help with consistency. You can hand destruction the rest of the uh, the cards if you want to. But uh, I, I just liked one. It was it was just a good number for me. But um, Anyways, yeah, you have three of the Goyo Defenders on with the combo. Then you go ahead and however you bring out the other level three uh, Tatsunoko over here. So you glow up bulb, you plug spreader, you can spell some boost warriors real easy. And then you go ahead and bust out this guy over here, and then you synchro all of them uh, up to make a uh, Quasar. And even if Quasar dies, guys, you still have that shooting star. If you want to, go ahead and throw in another shooting star. If you want to change up the X Rec, maybe you want some exceeds, some, uh, I don't know, gotcha gotchis or something like that, you can feel free to do so. But for the most part, this is these the main synchro cards you really need are pretty much just these, um, and the rest is all up to you. I'd say at least one formula because sometimes you can just go into it. You can still make Librarian in the deck, you can still make other things, but the way that this deck is designed is to be as fast as possible and to bust and abuse that Goyo uh, Defender combo because I know a lot of you guys saw it and you're like, wow, it's so broken. It is pretty unfair. Like, um, this card opens up the door to a lot more crazy synchro possibilities in the future, especially how good Jet Synchron just is in general. It is an amazing card that you just send one card from your hand to the grave, or you can send a Plague Spray, you can send a freaking Quill Bolt, and then you special summon this. And then, oh, you, this card's in the graveyard? Go ahead and special summon it for free. And really good stuff over here, but. Like I mentioned, guys, uh, it won't probably be meta simply because uh, a lot of the meta decks can deal with uh, one Quasar if they happen to have a full hand. And obviously, you're going to be going a little bit minus because you're going to be using hand destruction. Although, like I said, some decks will simply lose to Quasar. I know it's a fan favorite card, and I don't think there's anything right now that makes uh, Quasar, uh, you know, going to be or it really makes it meta right now because like again the problem is you use a lot of your resources to make the one quasar a lot of times and other times if you're not able to throw it out fast enough like this deck throws it out fast enough but if you get over it obviously yeah you're using a lot of cards but like the, the other synchro decks that bust out like the librarian and then they bust out the formula they draw a bunch of cards those are great but the problem, again, guys, is it's not as consistent as just busting out the Quasar as fast as this one can. This one can outspeed it, but uh, you're going to lose a lot of cards in your hand. Sometimes other decks can be like Dark Hole, and you're like, okay, negate. And then they're like, Regeki, and they're like, okay, I got this card out. And then they're like, okay, Castell. And then you're just like, oh, okay, I can't. No answers. Because there's really no comebacks in this deck. Very few times will you be able to come back if they get rid of you know your Quasar. Because you're, you're investing a lot of stuff in your extra deck to just to bust out that one Quasar. That's four cards just to bust out a Quasar, but um, you're not really getting an advantage. Like, I understand, like, well, you need three cards in your extra deck minimum to make Quasar anyways, uh, but usually it's it's something along the lines of like this or like Armadius and whatever, but uh, you're drawing so many cards off of it that it kind of replenishes your resources. But anyways, if you guys have any suggestions on how to improve the consistency of this deck, uh, like I said, I've been testing this a lot and it throws it out over 50% of the time turn one. Again, just remember that you certain cards uh, like uh, Jet Synchron can be special summoned if you're playing this in real life. And like, this card is like really good actually, like Jester Confit, especially with this. When I was playing three copies of this, it was amazing. But uh, it, the hard car the part sometimes is just getting that other uh, card, because it's really easy to bust out three Goyo Defenders. This is like the easiest thing ever. Oh, I also want to mention real quickly, when you're going for this combo, guys, and you make the Goyo Defender, don't put him in defense position, because uh, let's say for whatever reason your opponent negates like your whatever you're bringing out after, if you still have three Goyo Defenders, these cards have 3,000 attack, because um, the effect is when this card is targeted for an attack, you can have this card gain a thousand attack for each 
other Earth War type synchro monster you control until the end of the damage step. So that lets you be 3,000 attack. So don't put them in defense mode. Uh, they can be tactically a little bit offensive uh, by making it so your opponent doesn't really want to attack you. But it's when this card is targeted for an attack. So I don't think you can attack with this card into something and make it, you know, three cards with 3,000 attack. That'd be crazy. But uh, yeah, if they're targeting Goya Defender, you're able to actually gain stuff. And it can help you stall a little bit, maybe for another turn. But yeah, don't put him in defense mode. That's my biggest suggestion. Because it doesn't gain the defense. It's just the attack. But anyways, yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think of this deck. Uh, pretty much all we need is Gory Defender, which hopefully will come out relatively soon here in the TCG. And then you guys can mess around with this. Because I think this is a pretty budget-friendly deck. Plexport I got reprinted in it. We Obviously, this was a budget card. We got the reprint of this. Um, this card, I think, is a secret rare, but it is not too expensive as of right now. But anyways, thanks for watching. I think Global Vex actually is the only expensive card in here. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I don't really, yeah, I don't think anything else is going to. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It's been your boy Will Smith, signing out.